What is happening ladies and germs? This is the Packer Man and welcome back to Green and Gold Games and my Let's Play of the Outer Worlds. This is episode number 35. We're getting back on the main quest line finally because everything else... is done. Look at all these freaking missions that we've done so far. So we're going to now go to the City and the Stars. Try to find some of the minister's guards that hang out at a local bar. One of them might be able to provide some information regarding Clark's residence. Uh, before we do that, that's junk. I've got all of this food stuff. That is a weird little glitch right there. Transfer. Oh, that. Oh, that. That. That work. That. That. That work. That work. Good work. Who's on? Who's in front of the church? The food stuffs. The bridge. Clean your water. What's there? Eight capsules. Let's find this. Mushrooms, over lunch, over. Kind of Alright, so. Let's pull some of those. So that. That. Let's see the chops. Go ahead. Any answer. Back to back on yours. Over that line. Finish your water. Over that lunch. Down the staff. Over six. That's a hammer. Over six. Over six. Finish your water. Make whiskey. Put your pockets in charge of these. Any drink. Any liquor. Not too far. Get to the same taste. Second vodka. Get to the chalice. That's back out. Three times. The pills. Hit with a horse. Taste some room for six. Put it in the hammer. Not too ladder. Lots of gel. Lots of apple juice. Put it back screen. Over toxic order, dark green bridge, dinner, eat prices, bits, fish sticks, on the table, snap, and install, and pack. Alright, that's all. Please leave me inside the bridge. Wow, there really is only one toilet. Make that about some shit. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um. It looks like the only place to store stuff in the kitchen is right here. Pet pills. Hold on. Let's tackle that. Not there. 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 Three times, the pills, the corner, the business, the gel, the back green, the little toxic free, that's all. Let's go to work. Thank you very much. Back around me. Oh, it's a good question. I'm going to get these little things. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. Excuse me. Nice. I shall. Go to work. 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 I think we're ready. Status report. 13 jobs scheduled for area maintenance. Good for you, Sam. All right, back to Terra 2 and Byzantium. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Stand back, you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Are you supposed to drink on the job? 
course not. <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Anything you can tell me about Minister Clark? Oh, um, he's a uh, medium height with like medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face. Just like in his posters. You haven't met him, have you? Everyone tells me he's very private, okay? Besides, I just started. What's so important about guarding Minister Clark? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the Minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. Congratulations. Yep. I have nearly made it to the top, my friend. I'm just two promotions away from on-the-job bathroom breaks. How about I buy you a drink to celebrate your promotion? That's a great idea! I have a Spectrum vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, because today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? One second. Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. Hmm. I could use a drink. Then you'll want to speak with our auto mechanical inebriation assistant, located just over there. Aren't you the bartender? Quite so. But I would never lower myself to do something as gauche as tending bar. My auto mechanical assistant does all the work for me. Very well. Where's he at? Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. I'll have a drink. Special water. Spectrum vodka. Thank you. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before? Here's to your promotion. Here's to me. <laughs> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere <laughs> who am i kidding i could i could have another you got another one second please allow me to Hey, you look familiar. Let's have another. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Let's have another. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop.
with your BMI, you can metabolize another. Just drink plenty of water. You sure sound like you know what you're talking about. Okay, here goes. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Mayfield's heading to the bathroom. This is your chance to grab his key. I just need to sit down. <laughs> well, it looks like he keeled over. Whoops. Alright, now that we've got the key, let's go see if we can talk to Minister Clark. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. I'm here for Minister Clark. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Was the minister expecting a delivery? Minister Clark's a private man, and you're asking too many questions. Farewell. Well then. Charming fellow. Bring Ms. Holcomb. I'm not winded. Honest. My, uh, boot was untied. You don't need to keep up appearances. You're among friends. We would never leave you behind. Yes, the plan. A ridiculous notion. There is an underlying universal order that predetermines everything. I was quite full of myself. 
haranguing everyone, going on and on. Oh, um, right. You had a question? Never mind. That about answers it. Oh, there's something. Just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of him. For the last time, access to Byzantium is impossible without a proper nav key. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to be somewhere else. Anywhere else. Oh, splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. Why, just this morning, I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. And here you are, frolicking. Gracefully, I might add. Hmm. Admittedly. Now, if only you could gracefully take a shower, preferably in whatever hovel you came from. Honestly, what is the board thinking letting so many of your ilk into the city proper? It's madness. What's wrong with more people coming to Byzantium? What's wrong? It erodes the very pillars of our society. Merit, decorum, personal hygiene. This city is meant for us, the system's finest. We earned its luxuries. But now we are overrun with the unworthy and the ungrateful, and this early retirement nonsense is making it even worse. What's early retirement? The worst thing to happen to Halcyon. A contest that gives even the lowliest and most inefficient workers a chance to live in Byzantium. By simply winning a lottery, those early retirees get an exclusive district of Byzantium to themselves. No one else is even allowed to go there. Tell me, how is that fair? You're right. It's not. Exactly. It's not right. I deserve to see any district I please. Why, if it weren't guarded, I'd... Hmm. You know... You look like you've been shot at before. What say I hire you to investigate this travesty, and you get paid to do so? Oh, we get paid this time. I like this plan. Yes. Listen to your... Your... What is that person's job, exactly? Are they your secretary? Personal masseuse? Or do you just keep them around as a mobile armrest? Well, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you think this is a fabulous arrangement, and you'd be thrilled to lend me your services. Aren't you? Sure. I'll look into it. Fantastic. Consider yourself employed, Vagrant. I hear the chosen retirees all enter the retirement district via the port landing pad, but it's completely locked down. You'd never get in that way. Unless, of course, you had a wealthy, beautiful benefactor of impeccable social pedigree. Which you do. How fortunate for you. These codes will get you past the lockdown. Oh, and don't worry about subtlety. I don't care how you deal with security, just correct this injustice at all costs. I'll take care of it. Alright, so we had a new side mission. Why call them back from retirement? A resident of Byzantium, Hortense Inglesby, has asked you to investigate the board's early retirement program. I am to use the password Hortense gave me to access it via terminal. We'll do that in a little bit. There's nothing to see here. Move along. You know, that's just the sort of thing folks say when they're trying to hide something. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Delivery for the minister. Yeah? Let's see it. I've got this parcel right here. Hmm. Looks like your papers are in order. All right. Go on through. Thanks for your time. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. How did you get in here? 
You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! Minister Clark, what a remarkable honor it is to meet you. If this is about another aether wave clip or radial spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Why would I want something like that? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Calm down. I'm just here to ask you some questions. Then you're not part of Rockwell's PR team. That means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Wait, you think I'm a dissident? My friend, the slightest demonstration of independent thought or action renders one a dissident in the board's rather expansive definition of the term. Which is why I'm dying to know what brought you here. I'm looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. What is this system coming to when even the Earth Minister is disillusioned beyond hope? Will that be all, then? I didn't come all this way to play games, Clark. It's your name on the damn receipts. Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course! It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Back up and tell me what you're talking about. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. He's attempting to game the system, but he won't be able to get away with it forever. Eventually, Rockwell's house of cards will topple. I dearly hope so, and you might be part of the equation. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Why would he go through all this trouble? How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out, and perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me. Things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. Captain, we must investigate Rockwell. An injustice like this cannot go unchecked. Indeed, it cannot. I can't overstate the urgency of the matter. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of dissident, Hunter. <laughs> the HHC headquarters? Halcyon Holdings Corporation, the collective of companies that run the colony together. Allegedly in partnership with the Earth Directorate and appointed Minister of Earth. Let's focus. How do I get into the HHC headquarters? Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Obvious reasons? They're rather dirty. There are also rumors of sprat infestations, faulty auto mechanicals, and other unsavory hazards, if that sort of thing bothers you. It doesn't. Suit yourself. 
When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. How did you manage to hang on to your access card? The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. <laughs> anyway, I should get going. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What's on the cartridge? What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more. All exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. How long will that take? Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Well, it's something. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis district. What a pleasure. I haven't had this much company in quite some time. I dearly hope I'm not imagining this. I brought you something from HPS. How delightful. What is it? Open it and see for yourself. The latest issue of Dissident Hunter. I've been waiting for this. Most of what passes for entertainment here is appalling. I'll leave you be. All right, then. Minister Clark knows nothing about the dimethyl sufoxide and explained that Chairman Rockwell has actually been keeping him under house arrest. Clark is certain Rockwell is behind the purchase of the chemicals, which means that our next target is the Acropolis District. But we also have a task, the Lying Earth. Minister Clark has a message for the Earth Directorate and, only, and one of the only terminals in Halcyon capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone is in the Chairman's office. Yay. So we've got work to do. terminal where does this go Alright, Mr. Vicker? Need us to slow down? I'm afraid my years are catching up with me. But never fear. I believe I can still keep pace with you and the captain. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. Don't worry. The captain and I'll take care of you. I know you will, Ms. Holcomb, and thank you. What's gone into Bachmeyer lately? Now that he's posted at the HHC, he's too good for the rest of us, Grim. Maybe we can move here.
taste of nothing down here. Before you met that hermit fellow. I was kind of an ass, wasn't I? I wouldn't say that. You were more of an... Uh... Well, I'm just glad you're not like that anymore. Oh, I'm still an ass. Just someone who knows he is. It's quite amusing, the ridiculous things that go through my head. Just like the rest of us, then. You're all right, Mr. Victor. Byzantium Estates. Tyrese. That's the last of them. Finally. Is it just me, or are we getting more and more retirees lately? Not just you. Felt like a damn factory worker these last few months. Oh well. Nothing a few drinks won't cure. Come on, let's go hit up these dudes. Can't. They're closed. Someone saw us fracking there. These dudes too? Damn. What's this city coming to? The Early Retirement District. To the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Early Retirement Center. You, the lucky few, have been selected to spend the rest of your days living the high life in your own private district in Byzantium. When you arrive, you'll be whisked away to your very own luxury penthouse, furnished exclusively by 24-7 Furniture's Deluxe Falskowood Collection. Some assembly required. 24-7 furniture is not responsible for any injuries, psychological damage, or divorce litigations that occur during the assembly process. After you get settled in, you'll have the chance to explore your new home. Why not go for a bite at one of our many restaurants, like CNP's Blazing Borst Barbecue or Rizzo's All-You-Can-Crunch Cereal Buffet? Or maybe you'd like to head to the bar and enjoy an ice-cold Zero-G Brew by Spacer's Choice. Zero G Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Although in the early retirement district, nothing will. All this and more will be complimentary for the entirety of your stay, courtesy of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation. You won't have to spend a bit. So relax, grab a refreshment from one of our vending machines and enjoy our specially constructed welcome center. While you're here, be sure to check out the displays for some fun facts about the early retirement program and selection process. Then, once you're ready, enter the elevator at the end of the hall 
and leave your troubles behind. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Today is the first day of your early retirement. Congratulations. Welcome to the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Early Retirement Center. You. So it's just going to loop. Lovely. The lucky few have been selected to spend the rest of your days living the high life in your own private district in Byzantium. Exclusively by 24-7 Furniture's Deluxe Falskowood Collection. Some assembly required. 24-7 Furniture is not responsible for any injuries, psychological damage, or divorce litigations that occurred. After you get settled in, you'll have the chance to explore your new home. Why not go for a bite at one of our many restaurants, like CNP's Blazing Borst Barbecue, or Rizzo's All You Can Crunch Cereal Buffet? Or maybe you'd like to head to the bar and enjoy an ice-cold Zero-G brew by Spacer's Choice. I've got a bad feeling about this. Exactly like I thought. All the early retirees were led to this room and killed. Oh no, is right. Your life was merely an illusion anyway. The board's idea of retirement is more like an execution. Find a way to stay employed. So yeah, pretty obvious that the board is nothing but a bunch of jackasses. I mean, look at this shit. <gasps> 
so where's the fucking way out of here all right we're into the maintenance tunnels Processing data. Let's look around real quick. Get back to Byzantium. Well, how about them apples? Well, we'll do that next time. I know, it's, um, uh, cliffhanger, <laughs> but uh, we're getting close to an hour of uh, recording time. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, this is the Packer Man signing out. Bye. You better like and subscribe, or face the consequences. have been warned.